Because what Jesus knows is that all too often that which we own has a tendency to own us. Too often the things with which we build our lives, wealth, status, influence, ego, they get in the way of our relationship with God. This perpetuates the individualism that keeps us from seeing our neighbors and loving them. It breeds suspicion and scarcity when we get comfortable and fear losing our power, our possessions, our prestige. And in the ancient world, prosperity and plenitude were seen as favor. But Jesus paints a different picture. I love this. John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement of which the local church is a part, he once described the plenitude and prosperity that the rich, full, and jovial enjoyed. He described it as sweet poison. He believed that these beatitudes uh, embodied a divine value set in which those privileged should no longer use their advantages solely for personal gain. Instead, they're for sharing with those who have need. And this is the sweet poison part. In other words, prosperity is sweet when it's shared but it's poison when it's hoarded. Sweet poison. To give our stuff away, our power, our possessions, our privilege, to give ourselves away is in and of itself an act of faith. It's a way of ridding ourselves of the power that our stuff can tend to have over us. Instead, opening us up to the power and provision of God. And when we do, when we take that risk, we just might find that there's enough. 